Good evening everybody. Living Room Painter is back. It's been a little while since I've done a video, but I've been pretty busy and haven't had time to do anything really other than taking care of business. But I appreciate y'all if y'all are watching. Thanks for subscribing and I hope y'all like this next video. I recently went to Louisiana to visit my father and when I did I told him about my coin collection and he said he had a few things for me so in this little bag back here he had most of these coins now I'll tell you right now this came from Silver Seeker and that is a beautiful coin right there my friends I really like that really nice so I won that on one of his uh, his donation deals you know live stream and I won this as well polar bear eight dollar ounce and a half Canadian really nice I hope y'all can see that real well I like the bear And I also won this, just a regular 68, and a gold plated. Pretty clean. First gold coin I've gotten. And I love that gold. You guys know that. So that's what I got from uh, Silver Seeker up there, those four items. But the rest of this stuff, my dad gave me. And this is just a common wheat penny. Uh, or actually, it's not even a wheat penny. It's just a penny. I'm not sure why he had it in the bag. And there's this foreign coin here. I don't know a whole lot about coins uh, that are foreign. But this says five pence on it. And it's like a... Uh, oh, I can't read that. But it is what it is. But I'm pretty excited about this little miniature buffalo nickel. 1938. It's pretty clean. I think I have a few few miniature coins in my collection somewhere. I haven't seen them for a few years, but I'm pretty sure I do. It's making me want to dig around and find them now. And then he also had some silver quarters in his little bag. And these are just nickels in the 40s. No, no, uh, no silvers. Had a couple of Indian heads. I can't see the dates. One of them's pretty chewed up. Then he had a couple of mercs. Some silver dimes. I don't know if y'all can see the dates, but I can't. My vision is not that good. I have to use a magnifying glass and a light to see dates on dimes for sure. Pennies a little bit, but... And then here's another strange coin. This guy. Cinco Centavos. I don't know what, what that's worth or what it is. Anyways, it's pretty cool. A couple Canadians, 70s. And then some Wheaties. And a really pretty still. Look at this guy, man. This thing looks perfect. Or to me. I mean, got a little blemish on the back right there. But it's not a bad looking still. One of the better ones I have now. A couple other ones kind of toasty. And then an Ike dollar. He thought that was really worth something because it was bicentennial. And I'm like, uh, yeah, it's worth something. It's worth a buck. He's going, oh, well, okay. And he had one Benji in there. 64, 64, then 68. So that was pretty sweet. But uh, back here... When, when he really got interested because I told him, Dad, I'll give you 200 bucks for all those coins. And he's like, what? And my dad is, 
87 years old, retired, you know, living on the edge. So he said, 200 bucks. And I said, yeah, I'll help you out, you know. So he run to the bedroom and comes out with these two boxes. And I'm going, what do you got in there? And he's going, well, he was a machinist for 25 years. At, or well, actually, he worked 32 years for Sitco out of Westlake. And he says, after 25 years, they gave me this, this buckle. Association of Machinists or International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers. And guys, I, I have no way to know what's silver and what's not silver. He says he thinks it's pure silver or it's silver. I can't tell. I don't know enough about it. I have to investigate this. I'm not sure if this is silver or if it's sterling silver or plated or what, but it's pretty nice. I told him I'd never never do anything with it, you know, because it, it meant a lot to him after 25 years of working for a company, and they gave him that, so he had it stashed back. And then he had this thing, which is... I thought, what in the world is that? And he said, well, him and his second wife went to the World Fair, Fair in New Orleans in 1984, and his wife wanted this thing. And I asked him, well, what is it? How, any information? And he said, no, I really don't even know what I paid for it. And so he said, but I could have it. For the 200 bucks I gave him, he said, I could have the, the belt buckle and this this metal or whatever it is and so it took me quite a bit of research to figure this thing out but it's uh the great wall of china it was made in 1980 and this one's in pretty nice shape i mean it has a couple of little ding looking things over here on the top edge but as far as i know he's had it in this case the whole time in the back it says Chinese Exhibition and it, it weighs 3.3 .3 ounces it's pretty heavy I mean it's thick and I didn't know if it was brass or copper or bronze or what and so after looking and looking I finally found two of them exactly like this uh, 1980 60 millimeter copper I think it was copper or maybe brass I'm not sure right off bat and it was rare and it showed it like from 450 to 525 the two different ones I saw and they were both out of China so I'm not sure if I got a hold of something really nice here or if it's just I don't know what I got but it appears pretty authentic and it appears pretty nice pretty nice shape so any comments or any thoughts on this uh leave below and i hope y'all have liked my video i will be getting back into some coin roll searching and bill searching and some gold panning here in the very near future so stay tuned and like and subscribe tell your friends I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. I think I'm at like 63, so I really appreciate y'all's support. I'm trying to get a guy to make me up some stickers right now. I'd like to do some sticker trading with some of you fellas out there. And really appreciate the support from the coin community, Angel Coins. Thanks for the tokens, man. I really appreciate that. I'm going to make a video of my tokens I have one of these days and show y'all I don't have a lot, but it's it's interesting. Some people have told me I've I've got a bad habit of collecting oddities, and hey, tokens are something nobody wants, and it seems like everybody's willing to give them up. So I'll take all the tokens you guys can give me. I'll even trade for them. So stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, and really appreciate y'all support. Later.